Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and I've got my mom with me and my dad. And today we are back home in Spring, Texas. Well, my home. Uh, my parents drove up here from Houston, and we're gonna go to the light park again. Uh, we went there two years ago, so we're gonna see it's different. Um, I'm not going to uh, let you hear the music because it's all copywritten, but I'll go ahead and record it and uh, show you what it's like to go. And uh, we'll tell you what we think when we when, when it ends, right? Give them a review. <laughs> so come along and join us on this episode of the most epic adventures. All right, we're coming up to the light park. All right. General mission, so we're going to the right. Alright everybody, since this is a non-stop copyright music uh, event, I'm going ahead and uh, just going to do a voiceover with the generic iMovie Christmas music. Um, I also am playing this in double time. When you get there, they tell you to uh, turn your headlights off and turn the radio station to 87.9. Now, let me tell you, um, the music that goes along with the lights, they have it synced up awesomely, so you really do want to make sure that you turn your radio station to that station. Uh, you see the little mouths and the eyes, they move along with the words to the music. So it really does look really good. Um, now it might look like I'm going kind of fast through here because yes, like I said, I did uh, put this video as double time. I am uh, using my I iPhone 14 Pro Max, one terabyte to uh, record and edit this um, using iMovie. I have a dash mount from Driver, so I had the phone just located in the dash mount. So hopefully the, the fast moving lights don't give you uh, a seizure or an aneurysm or anything like that. Um, but it did took, take us like 24 minutes to, uh, to go through the whole thing. So 
you know, this is probably gonna be like 12 minutes long here, but I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, tell you it was um, $49 plus $3, which I don't know what that plus $3 was. Um, so it was $52 for us to go through the light show this time. If we wouldn't went yesterday, it would have been $10 cheaper, um, but we weren't able to, uh, to go yesterday. We, we went today and it was fine. Um, you know, if you notice when we got there, there weren't a lot of cars there. We got there, they open at 5.30 every day. So we got there just a little bit after 5.30. It was like 5.36, I think, when we rolled up. So I really do recommend getting there early. Because today, today's Friday. It's the, you know, there, a lot of people, they've gotten out of school today. Um, and they're starting their holiday vacations today. So this was a good time for us to go. I'm glad that we got there early so we didn't have to wait in that huge line that you saw that was lined up there. Um, so they could get really backed up. And they do sell a Dasher Pass, which is like an extra $40 um, that lets you cut the line, essentially. So we did not need that, thankfully. Um, just one of those things. You can go to thelightpark.com. They do these all over. Um, in Texas, I know they have one in Katy as well. Um, I think they have one in San Antonio and one in Arlington, somewhere in the Dallas area. But two in the Houston area, which is cool. One just happens to be five minutes from my house in the parking lot of Six Flags, Hurricane Harbor, formerly known as Splashtown. Everyone here just calls it Splashtown still. Nobody calls it Hurricane Harbor. But you'll see um, the car kind of kind of uh, jump up every once in a while. There, there are humps from the electric cables that run through this entire parking lot. So that's what that is. My dad actually said, wow, right here, I believe. <laughs> he, he did it a couple of times, but this one impressed him. Um, yeah, this is a little bit better than it was two years ago. Two years ago, it was nice. And, you know, I heard um, some friends visit a similar place where they live. And, and they considered it kind of a COVID throwback because during COVID, there were a lot of like drive through events. Um, so this kind of reminded them of that. And the first time I heard of the light park was in 2020. We went um, right after Thanksgiving, me and my parents went. So I'm not sure if you saw that video or not. But this is a good event for um, like my parents. My dad can't move around very well. Uh, my mom can't move super great either. I mean, she can get around better than my dad can, but either way, um, it's more comfortable for them to sit down and drive through an experience than it is for them to, to walk around and have to climb things. So we saw um, the, the car in front of us had a kid hanging out the side window. The car in front of them had a kid up above the, um, the sunroof hanging out. So, you know... We got a bunch of little kids. This is good for them, too. So it's, it's a nice family event. The music synced up with the lights perfectly. And, you know, it was just a good show. It's a good show. You know, it was Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I think right here, they were playing a Weezer. There was some Pentatonics. Uh, Mariah Carey, of course. Some little clips, audio clips from, uh, like, Home Alone and some other Christmas movies. So th they did a good job. It was, you know, it was good two years ago, but they definitely improved it um, this time. So I'm glad we went. Again, thanks to thanks to Dad for being the executive producer on this outing and for Mom coming along with us. It was a, it was a nice family outing. We had, we had dinner at a little Mexican place um, by my house. It was nice. It, it's a decent place. It was affordable. There were some lunch ladies there that were celebrating um, being off <laughs> of work for two weeks. And they were a little loud. So that was a little annoying. Dad got a little mad. He actually took his hearing aids out. 
so he, he took his hearing aids out so he uh, didn't have to hear him. I told my mom, I was like, I wish I had some hearing aids to take out so I'd have to hear him too. <laughs> you know, just people, want, you know, when people drink, they get loud and they don't even realize it. So we're just not on the same way. Here we, here we go. This is the military appreciation part. You know, my dad was in the Navy, so got your Navy representation, Coast Guard, Army, Marines, and Air Force. No, uh, no Space Force representative here at the, uh, the light park. But yeah, this is really cool. This is really cool. To, I'm seeing this in, uh, you know, double time for the first time. So that's really cool to see it that way. Ow! Now my cat is attacking me. She's, she doesn't know who I'm talking to. She thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> Actually, I have a uh, hollow, a hollow mold Christmas tree <laughs> with lights that mostly don't work that I got at Big Lots. That's my Christmas tree because of my two cats. They would destroy if I had an actual Christmas tree. Let me know in the let me know in the comments. Do you guys have a Christmas tree or do you have silly cats that would destroy it too? I want to know. Please let me know. Yeah, so like I said, this is in the parking lot of the water park. Um, Six Flags Hurricane Harbor Splash Town. And to the right is a shopping center. We'll, be, we'll see more of the shopping center here in a minute. But, um, yeah, it looks like we're going pretty fast. I was going like two miles per hour. I kept my foot on the brake the entire time. You don't want to go too fast because you don't want to miss it. Um, and you don't want to go too slow and annoy the people behind you. So I think we, get a, we went at a good pace. Like I said, it, it took us like 24 minutes to drive through the entire thing. So, you know, not the best on fuel economy. But, you know, what can you do? I took, I took my car. And uh, when, when we were driving through, when we... Um, you know, pay for the ticket, you know, show them our ticket. Um, and we drove into the actual park. All the little elves were looking at the stickers at the back of my car. So if you're one of those elves who uh, who saw my stickers and you're here uh, on my YouTube, let me know in the comments. Let's say, hey, I was one of the elves. Um, it looked like a bunch of high school kids. Uh, Spring High School is right down the street. So they could probably just walk walk to the light park. I know a lot of the spring high school kids work at Splash Town, so it makes sense for them to work at the light park in the winter as well. But the weather was the weather was nice. I mean, there was supposed to be some rain. It, it, it sprinkled a little bit earlier, but it, there was no rain when we drove through here. So that was nice. It was cool. So didn't want to have the windows down. But very nice lighted trees. Very cool. We're getting towards the end. There's at the end there's this long tunnel of the the tubular rings. And so you'll you'll see people They'll try to uh, go slower through that because like, oh no, that's the end. We went through this too fast. So they go real slow through that tunnel. See the sign for Six Flags Hurricane Harbor, it's all messed up. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare from the window. It's not too bad. I'm just noticing a little bit of a, a little flare there. The window was pretty clean, but what can you do? These little guys are singing along to uh, whatever the music is playing right there. Whatever copywritten music is playing right there. They could have made these uh, barriers a little bit more festive, but what can you do? I guess right here it makes sense to make them white because it just reflects the light from these uh, tubes, the light tubes, the light tunnel at the end. 
there's a lot of Trans-Siberian Orchestra being played, which, you know, it's, it's the most metal Christmas, you know? So what, what do you, what else could you, could you think? I went to see the Trans-Siberian Orchestra the past two Christmases. Not doing it this year. Tickets are a little out of my uh, budget this time. But this is this is towards the end. The light tunnel. They were Yep. It's like you're on a space mountain. But going very slowly. A very slow space mountain. I call it Santa's Mountain. That'd be cool if there was a Santa themed Santa themed uh, roller coaster ride. Alright, and here's the exit. And they tell you to Turn your headlights on. Okay, and this is if you're um, coming off of Interstate 45 uh, northbound, exiting to 2920. You're gonna go east on 2920 here. Um, we were still listening to the Christmas music from the radio station at the White Park. So I just wanted to drive around and show you how you get to the White Park this direction, which is where people will be coming from. And then uh, stick around, there's a little bit of bonus footage from Old Town Spring. Again, copyright music, so you get some more voice over for that. Yeah, we've got your shopping center here on the right, which is a tag store. You see that tag store. Police officer is getting ready. Just, uh, there's some shenanigans going on at the light park. See the lights up here on the right. That's the entrance to the light park. So that's when you to turn in. If, uh, that's where you were going. So we came in from the other direction. But I wanted to uh, do a little bonus. Show you guys how to get there at the end. And, do, and go to uh, Old Town Spring. Just so we can show you a little bit what that looks like. On a Friday night. When you're driving through there. Pretty nice there. People are home for the holidays. All right, here we are. We're approaching Old Town Spring. They have their nativity set up there on the right. Welcome to Old Town Spring. It's kind of weird. There's the little welcome, and then there's not much old timey stuff. Right at the beginning, you've got the gas station there at the right. It's going to be uh, a little sketch. Let's see what current gas prices in there. They're about 10 cents higher than. The Walmart gas station down by my house. So use those apps to find cheaper gas. But here we're going we're gonna go towards the right. Okay, we gotta slow down a little bit here. To the left is the uh, the museum and welcome center. And the Christmas tree is right behind it. My mom was wondering, hey, where did they move the Christmas tree? Because it used to be somewhere else, but um, my camera's just facing forward, so I couldn't see it. I couldn't, like, move the camera because it's dash-mounted. But here we are. It's, you know, pretty nice little bonus coverage just right down the street from the light park in Old Town Spring. So there you go. On the left is the uh, Good Woods. We went there recently. You saw that video. And on the right right there, they're building a fountain. That's where the tree used to be. They're working on that. And it's just really nice and pretty. I like going down there. And there was a Santa Claus right here. I, ro I rolled down the window. I said, hey, Santa. I'm not sure if you guys saw him. We were coming up to this point. And then uh, up here is the old state, Spring State Bank that uh, Bonnie and Clyde robbed. And then the years, the Wunchy Brothers Saloon. Not a, not a fan of it since they took over new ownership. I, I like the previous all right the light park in spring texas at splash town 
2022. They definitely uh, made some improvements over two years ago. What'd you think, Dad? I think it went real nice. All right. You said yeah. wow. You said wow a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. What'd you What'd you think, Mom? It was pretty nice little drive through. Yeah. To do. Yeah. It was like a. It took us like 24 minutes to drive through there, but I'm gonna double time it on the video so it doesn't take up all that time. Uh, thanks again, Dad. Uh huh. All right, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed and, and the little bonus going through Old Town Spring. Until next time, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>